Every recruiting class, the quarterback position is always talked about. It doesn't matter if the class is viewed as a weaker quarterback class or one of the best ones of all time. It is always going to be talked about no matter what. And in today's video, I am going to be talking about the 2023 quarterback recruiting class, taking a look at the top 10 current quarterbacks according to the 24-7 sports composite rankings. This is a very talented quarterback class and a group of players that could be the future of college football. In the top 10, 9 of them are top 100 prospects and 8 of them rank inside the top 60. And there's currently 5 5 stars in this class. Before I move on with the video, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already as we are on the road to 10k. Now let's get into it. Starting off at number 10, it is St. John Bosco quarterback and current Louisville commit Pierce Clarkson. He ranks as a four-star recruit, the 140th best player in the nation, and the number 10 quarterback as well. Clarkson is coming off a good season, leading a very good St. John Bosco squad, and he's probably one of the best dual threat quarterbacks in the nation. The guy's an improviser, he has a good arm, he's accurate, and he knows what to do on the ground as well. He's a very good quarterback and someone that could make a very big impact very early on in his college career. Coming in at the number 9 spot in this class, also the 100th best player in the nation according to the 24-7 sports composite ranking, currently uncommitted Dylan Lonergan. Dylan has a dual threat capability with his play style. He's someone that can get it done through the air and he can get it done on the ground as well. He's coming off a very good junior campaign in which he threw for 3,392 yards, 32 touchdowns through the air, and only three interceptions on the season. He also rushed for 645 yards and seven total touchdowns on the ground in this junior campaign. Now, it's not only just that for Dylan, he's also seen as a very good baseball prospect as well, as he's seen as someone that can play baseball on the collegiate level, and he's even getting looked at for that, and I believe he's actually trying to play both football and baseball. Coming in at number eight is quarterback from Louisiana, Eli Holstein. He ranks as a four-star recruit, number 54 player in the nation, and the number eight quarterback in this class. He was originally committed to Texas A&M, but recently reopened his recruitment. He is seen as someone that has very high upside and a very high ceiling. He is more of a pro style slash pocket passer kind of quarterback. He can run the ball, but he's more of someone that is going to dish it off and pass it and stay in the pocket instead of taking off and breaking off a big run. He's not seen as a day one starter kind of guy, but he's seen as someone that has a very safe long-term trajectory. As a junior, he led his team to an undefeated record and was named the Max Preps Louisiana Football Player of the Year. He threw for 3,228 yards, 30 touchdown passes, and only 6 interceptions while rushing for an impressive 14 total touchdowns. The number 7 ranked quarterback in this class is Christopher Vizina, who ranks as the 52nd best player in the nation according to the 24-7 sports composite rankings, and he's currently uncommitted. As a junior, he threw for 2,065 yards, 16 touchdown passes through the air, and only 4 interceptions. He also rushed for 600 yards on the ground and had 16 total rushing touchdowns. As a quarterback, he has good pocket presence. He's very mobile in the pocket. He has a strong arm with some great velocity, and he's very good with his deep ball. He is seen as someone that does need a couple years to develop, but if he has the right development and the right coaching, he is going to be a real problem on the collegiate level. Coming in at the number six spot, it's current Oklahoma quarterback commit Jackson Arnold. He just misses the five-star ranking by just a few spots as he's the number 36 player in the nation. He's only started one season on the varsity level as a quarterback, which was in his junior campaign. And he had a stellar season, throwing for almost 4,000 yards, 34 touchdown passes through the air, 5 interceptions, and 12 total touchdowns on the ground. As a quarterback, he's seen as someone with a great arm. He has the accuracy, he has the arm talent, and he knows how to thread the needle. And he's also a good runner as well when he actually runs the ball. He knows how to improvise, and he knows what to do to extend the play and how to win. At number five, we have our first five-star quarterback in the video. 
and that's number 29 player in the nation, Jaden Rashada. In his junior campaign, Jaden threw for 2,220 yards, 27 touchdown passes, and 5 interceptions. He is more of a pocket quarterback than he is a scrambler, as he stays in the pocket quite a bit. He has a very good height of 6 foot 4. He does need to add more weight to his body, but as a quarterback, he has many skills. Not only is he a great passer, he has great poise and great mechanics. Coming in at number 4, it is a 5-star quarterback, the number 6 player in the nation, Nico Iamaleva, current Tennessee commit. As a junior, Nico threw for a total of 2,244 yards, 33 touchdowns, and only one interception. Nico made huge strides in his game in his junior campaign. He's always had a great arm and a very strong one at that, but his arm talent just keeps on getting better, and he's getting better as well as each game goes on in his high school football career. He's expected to have a great career at Tennessee and be a game changer in their program. He is even quoted by Greg Biggins, a national recruiting analyst for 24-7 Sports, as saying there is not a throw on the field he can't make. Coming in at the number three spot for the quarterbacks ranked in this class, he's a five-star recruit and the number five player in the nation, Dante Moore. Dante Moore is someone that competes at a very high level. He's been a starter since his freshman year of high school on the varsity level. He's had some very big games in his career against top competition and has had many clutch moments in big games. He is seen as a very elite quarterback prospect and someone that is going to be a game changer wherever he goes. Coming in at the number two spot for this quarterback class, he is also the number two player in the nation, and that's quarterback Malachi Nelson, the former Oklahoma commit, now USC Trojan commit. Nelson is coming off a great junior campaign in which he threw for 2,690 yards, 39 touchdown passes, 9 interceptions, and 2 total rushing touchdowns. He is definitely more of a pro-style quarterback, although he is known for his arm talent, having a great arm in every aspect in the way you need in a quarterback. He has the arm strength, the speed behind his ball, and more importantly, the guy is accurate as heck. But don't get it twisted, although he's not really a running quarterback, and he doesn't run the ball very often, you have to make sure to plan for him at least to that extent with his legs as he can make a difference with that as well. On to the final quarterback in today's video. Coming in at the number one spot, he's also the number one ranked player in the nation, and that's Arch Manning. In his junior campaign, he threw for 1,947 yards, 26 touchdown passes to four interceptions, and seven total touchdowns on the ground. Manning is the most highly touted prospect in the nation, a consensus number one player. He has the size, he has the intangibles, he has the potential, he has everything you want in a quarterback, and is seen as a once-in-a-generation type of player that is going to be a first-round pick, potential number one overall pick, and a potential Heisman winner. He has a lot of great things in his game and is seen as the guy out of all the quarterbacks in this class. And keep in mind, this quarterback class is absolutely stacked. It's insane. Well, guys, you've made it this far in the video. Drop something down in the comment section below. Who do you think the best quarterback is in this class? And before you head out, remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe for more videos. Be Ellie, out. <laughs>